Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Seed. In this video, we are going to learn how to secure your Linux server. So let's start. So firstly, we need to update your server. So the first thing you should do secure your server is to up to date the local repositories and upgrade the operating system and install applications. So here, I don't have any application, so that's why here I'm going to only update my system package using sudo apt update command. So here you can see here I'm using Ubuntu, so that's why the command is like this, sudo apt update. So you can see it's up to date. So it's done, so clear the screen. Then the next is create a new privileged user account. So create a new user account you should never log into your server as root instead create your own account so give it sudo rights and use it to log into your server so firstly we need to create a new user using add user command so if i run the add user command here add user and my user will be sample so you can say they give us error add user only root may add a user or group to the system so firstly we need to switch to our root user so run the command sudo yes you and i'm going to clear the screen and here run the command add user and name of your user so my user will be sample so they ask me the password so enter password re-enter for confirmation the name room number work phone home phone other so it's it's correct okay now clear the screen now, if I go to the home directory, you can say now I'm in home directory. If I run the pwd command, you can see my current directory slash home, right? So if I run the ls command, you can see here we have two users for sample and then second Ubuntu. That sample we have just created. Okay, that's it. So now clear the screen. Give your new user a and the pseudo group hyphen g to the users group membership so for that firstly let's check using command firstly go to the ubuntu user and here run the command cat slash etc slash group then pipe grip and name of our user sample so you can see here this is our user and this is our password password indicates x and this is our gid that means group id because we are check groups okay so now let's run the command user mode hyphen a g sudo and then our user so our user is sample now let's check so you can see in sudo we have two users ubuntu and sample okay now clear the screen now the next is enable passwordless authentication using ssh key pairs so you can use a more secure method for user login than using password and create an ssh key pair to use with the user for logins so let's create uh, let's generate ssh keygen so run the command ssh hyphen keygen so you can see it's done now now i want to log in to my uh, to my sample user so here if i run the ssh at the rate sorry ssh then name of my user my user is sample then at the rate and the instance ip of your instance be and now press enter so you can see the message permission denied why because we need to go to this file you can see here open the yes session no replace with password authentication yes you can see here so firstly we need to go to this file so run the command sudo nano slash etc slash ssh ssh slash sshd config press enter and here you can see password authentication no this no replace with yes 
and save the file and exit then we need to reload the system so run the command service sst reload we need to reload the service then let's check the status so first we reload the service then let's check the status so you can see it's active running now clear the screen and now try to log into our sample so run the command ssh sample that means user then add the rate and then that's our instance ip now you can see oh, they ask me the password of my sample user so i'm going to enter my password so you can see now me now i mean sample user you can see oh, i mean sample user right so now i'm going to run the command exit to exit of sample user so you can see here now i'm in root user that means by ubuntu you can see here so now here when i'm going when i'm uh, i'm trying to log into my sample user you can see here the command is ssh sample at the rate then instance ip then every time they ask me the password of my sample you can see here when i enter my password then i'm going to log into my sample but here if i run the command ssh hyphen copy hyphen id then space the name of my user sample then add the rate and then instance ip and then press enter so now they uh, ask me the password of sample so i'm going to enter and now now i'm going to try try to log into my sample user so you can see here now i'm going to log into my sample so you can see here i'm now i'm in sample user you can see here here without entering password you can see here here you can see in my screenshot now it is here here also and you can see here also you can see the passwordless login to my sample user so that's the command here, here you can see the command is i'm going to exit and the command is like this yes sh copy copy id then name of your user at the rate and your instance then simply run the command ssh user at the rate and instance ip and the password let's login you can see here the now i am in sample user so it's done now run the command exit to exit your user now the next is configure password expiration so there must be a password expiration policy existing which have a minimum and maximum password age forcing user to change their password when they expire so here if i run the command hyphen l and name of your user sample so you can see your last password change july 88 then password expire never inactive never account expire never then minimum number of days between password change zero so on so now here i am going to set the expiration date of password so here i am going to run this command that hyphen m that hyphen m means maximum number of days so maximum number of days that means after 60 days the password automatically expire now let's check using this command now you can see here, here the expiration password expire date never now you can see the changes 6 september 2012 then now the next change is this that hyphen m means the maximum number of days then hyphen small m means minimum number of days and that hyphen w means the set the number of days warning so here i am going to set the minimum number of days 7 and the warning number of days 7 so let's change and now let's check so you can see here 
the minimum number of days between changes zero so here, here you can see now i'm going to set this seven and here already the warning expires date seven that's why here there is no any changes so that's the configure password expiration then the next is enable a firewall so you can here you can see now you need to install a firewall enable it and configure it only to allow network traffic that you are this net and uh, uncomplish firewall that means uw is easy to use interface to ip tables that greatly simplifies the process of configuring a firewall so here if you don't have then you can install the uw using sudo apt install uw then by default, UFW denies all incoming connections and allows all outgoing connections. This means any application on your server can reach the internet, but anything trying to reach your server cannot connect. So now let's check. So run these three commands. First, make you show, make you can log in by enabling access to SSH, HTTP, and HTTPS. So run these three commands. So firstly, clear the screen and let's run then http then https okay then now then enable ufw so run the command sudo ufw enable here firstly here i'm going to check the ufw status if i run the command sudo ufw status you can see inactive now i'm going to enable this Now let's check the status. So you can see it's active. Now, if you want to this action allow replace with deny, then run the command this sudo uw enable with disable. Now so let's run the command sudo uw status. Then you can see here it's inactive. That means all are disabled so that's the how to secure your linux server so it's done so in this video we have learned how to secure your linux server so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops in channel